So, everyone has a smartphone these days, let's be honest. And being a tap away means your listeners are never too far from listening to your radio station. In today's video, we're going to be showing you around the app builder for Radio Co and how you could create an app for your very own radio station. This video is made by Radio.co. To start your free Radio.co trial in seconds, head to Radio.co and click on the pricing page. So the Radio.co apps are now available across all plans. And this basically means that your listeners are never too far away from the action. Here's a great example of what your app could look like. This is Gen H Radio and they've had their radio app for a while now. Uh, and it's very sleek, it's very stylish and it gets the job done with not too many options for the user to choose from. Basically, click, listen, let's go. Now, obviously your own app will have your own brand style, such as colors, fonts, and logos. And we have plenty of features that you can use on your app. You can have a schedule so you can see what's coming up for the next day or even the week. You can have a podcast feed if you have your own podcast. There's a messaging button so you can chat with listeners using something like Facebook or WhatsApp. Track requests are also available in the app so people can uh, request a track from you. You can have a news feed, which basically connects to an RSS feed you might already have using your website. There's campaigns as well. So the home screen can have different images and links that you might want people to see such as I know maybe you've got a promotion with a different company at the moment. There's also features behind the scenes like push notifications so you can tell people when you're about to go on air and you can save people's eyes with light and dark modes depending on the time of day. So that's all well and good but how do you actually create an app? Well let me show you. So if you've not been on this page before, when you're on the home section, you'll see uh, a button to create your app. But as I've already got one, we'll just head over to mobile apps, click on Inspire FM, uh, and then you'll be greeted with this. Uh, so the first thing you'll see is the overall design of your app. And you'll find it's actually very customizable. Uh, you can have like an auto theme. So, you know, I talked about all the light and dark mode before. If you have auto on, it will just adjust accordingly to uh, a person's phone. Um, or you can have it always light and always dark if you have a preference over the two. You can change the main color of your app or your accent color. Uh, so I'm quite a big fan of yellow at the moment. So maybe I'll go for yellow. Lovely. Next, there's four different fonts you can choose from uh, within the type style. So you can have device default. So this is basically like if you're on iOS, you'll have the iOS default font. Um, or you can change it. So there's a modern style, a classic style, a futuristic style. Um, I think I'm going to probably stay with device default as, uh, you know, people are used to that font already. Um, and then I'll click save and continue. Now, automatically, it will take us to content. And this is where we'll enable or disable different features we want within our app. So here I've got enable podcast feed. If I click this on, I'll have a, a whole new tab at the bottom. Did you see that? Let me just turn it off and back on. There you go. So this is now in the middle, this little podcast button. And here I can add my podcast RSS link. Um, so make sure you've got one of them, first of all. It's really cool, actually. All you need to do is put in the RSS link and you'll get the artwork, the name, uh, about the podcast, episodes, trailer, basically everything you'll find on something like Spotify. Um, but it's within your own app, so that's really cool. If you'd rather it not be called podcast, because maybe you don't have a podcast, but you have like an on-demand show. So it is essentially a podcast, but it's just your show uploaded um, after it's gone out. Then all you need to do is click on demand here um, and do the exact same thing. Okay, so next up, we're going to enable uh, a web feed. So this is what I was talking about earlier, where you can have updates from a website you might already have. And again, this works using an RSS link. So depending on what you call it as well, you can change the name of it from feed, blog, news, updates um, and this is great because like obviously if you have a blog it's probably going to be more sort of personal related stuff uh, whereas if it's news then it might just be general news from your area so it's great to change the name depending on what you're actually going to be posting next up we have enable broadcast schedule this basically just lets people see the schedule from your radio station which you probably already have on your website so here on the side I can see that uh, up to Sunday uh, all the different shows will be going out over the different hours now you might not want this if say you're only going live for like two hours a day and the rest of it's just automated music. Uh, but yeah, it's great to have if maybe you have a full on radio schedule with lots of different presenters. Next, we have track requests and I've already gone through this, but basically, yeah, if you want to let people choose a track during a different show, then turn this on. People can simply go over, request a track, and that will come up to you and you can choose if to play it or not. Finally, uh, you can have some contact information for your station, which can appear at the bottom of your app. Uh, and you can toggle all of these different things on, such as your email, WhatsApp, Twitter, sorry, X, um, and even SMS. So if you want to perhaps say, hey, text in, uh, if you want to talk about 
ducks, then uh, yeah, just let people know that they can do that very easily from the app. People really don't like hassle. So if you can save them a few steps by letting them do it through an app uh, that they already have as well, that's going to be great. Finally, as well, you can, of course, uh, add some of your social links to your app, such as your website, TikTok, Mixcloud, SoundCloud, all that jazz. Um, and that will also just appear at the bottom when people click on that button. So I am going to keep I'm going to keep most of those off. Maybe I'll enable schedule and track requests, uh, but I'll turn the rest off and then I'll click continue. So next up, we are on app information. Now, this is kind of important because this is what people are going to be looking out for when they try and find your app uh, on the app store on either iOS or Android. So make sure your app icon is closely aligned to your branding. So maybe it's just your logo, for instance. Uh, so I could upload an image here and that is what will appear on people's home pages uh, every time they want to click on your app. Now it's important to mention as well that any app that you do submit will go through a submission process and of course it will go to Apple and Google respectively for obviously iPhones and Android devices. Now we have a really great help guide to make sure that this submission always goes through and you're not going to get rejected. Uh, and if you want to check that out, head over to the description and click the link. And this way you won't have any issues, hopefully, uh, after you submit your app to us. On here as well, you're also going to find some information about your app. So you're going to have your app name, uh, a subtitle, and then just a bit about your app. And this will obviously go straight over to the app store. Uh, you can put in some copyright information, some keywords so people can find it easier. And then other stuff as well like categories and then some web links as well. Now, once you've done that, and obviously I haven't because I'm not actually submitting an app today, uh, you can head over to build and publish and this is where you'll go through the final steps. Now, this is where you'll send your app over to us and we will go through it and make sure that everything's above board and then we'll obviously submit it for you to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. If it gets rejected, that's not a problem. Obviously, we'll just let you know it's been rejected. You can make some changes and then try again. And that is pretty much it when it comes to apps. It's really straightforward. So you might be wondering, is it actually important to have an app for your radio station? Well, obviously we're going to say yes, because we have this amazing app builder that we'd love for you to use. But uh, there's actually some statistical proof to say, yes, having an app will be great for your radio station. Interestingly, recent radio listening figures from Rajar in the UK agree with this. 11% of all radio listening comes from apps and websites. So people clearly like to listen to radio from the source and like to be involved in the whole ecosystem of your station. And of course, this is growing year upon year with other digital outputs such as smart speakers. Another important factor is something that we've kind of glossed over during this video, and that is that you get to control people's experience. So like I say, if you want to run an ad or a sponsorship, you can have that on your homepage. Or equally, if you just want to show off that you've got a brand new presenter, you can have a, a thing on the, the app that says, hey, look, John's here. He's got a new show. I've made that sound rubbish, but you can make that sound much, much cooler. Basically, what I'm trying to say is when you rely on third party providers to broadcast your internet radio station like Radio Play or TuneIn, um, um, they're great, but obviously you don't get the customization that you get with an app. So we'd always recommend to not get left behind and start your own app today. That's pretty much everything for today. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Uh, and until next time, thank you very much for watching. Happy broadcasting. Eager to learn more about how to effectively grow your radio station? Well, here at Radio.co, we're offering you the opportunity to do just that. Whether it's changing the way you market your existing station or how to successfully pitch and plan for a brand new one, the team are eager to help you thrive on air, loud and clear. Head to Radio.co forward slash training to find a list of consultations we're currently offering from as little as $69. Interested? Well, why not drop us an email via training at Radio.co to get the ball rolling. Radio.co Audio University. Let's simplify broadcasting together.